Hello, my name is Yanis Andreou and today is the 13th of November. We are going to have uh, the monthly review of the state of the Canadian economy. Uh, first of all, the Bank of Canada overnight rate has increased 1.75% as of October 24th. We expect it to be at 2.5% by the end of 2019 and 2.75% as of the end of 2020. The unemployment rate as of the fourth quarter of this year is at 5.8. We expect it to be at 5.7 and 5.6 respectively by the end of 2020, which means that under 6% we really have no unemployment in Canada, which is great. Uh, the home sales had a decrease quarter over quarter uh, from 2017 to 2018 of 10.8%. However, in 2019 and 2020 respectively, we expect them to stabilize at a 3 and 2% increase respectively. The savings rate is very steady, 3.8% for the fourth quarter and the next two years. The MLS home index increased quarter over quarter at 1.3% and it's expected to rise to one, uh, by 1% 1 in 2019 and 2020 respectively. The prime rate is currently at 3.95%. It's a byproduct of the overnight rate and it will go up to 4.7% by the end of 2019 and 4.95% as of the end of 2020. The benchmark, rate, the benchmark rate based on which insured mortgages are qualified currently stands at 5.34%. We expect it to be approximately at 5.74 by the end of 2019 and 5.79 by the end of 2020. The current best five-year fixed rate is at 3.19% insured, 3.54% uninsured. The best Five-year variable rate stands at 2.9% and 2.95% uninsured, respectively. And the home equity line of credit is at 4.45%. Please bear in mind, all these rates require a Beacon score of 680 and two years of clean credit history. Uh, what does this all mean for Canadian consumers? What it means is this is a good time to buy. The economy is stable, it has absorbed all the economic shocks from all the taxes and all the mortgage policies of the government and now it has stabilized and we expect to see a growth as of 2019 that will be small but gradual going forward. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text me at 778-859-7195 or send me an email. Thank you, have a wonderful day.